tension has been rising globally over a recent series of North Korean ballistic missile tests. With at least seven launches, January was a record month of sanctions busting tests. North Korea is now projecting itself as the only country standing up to the United States by shaking the world with missile tests. Pyongyang has called the military provocation a remarkable achievement that strengthened its war deterrent. A statement from North Korea's foreign ministry bragged that Pyongyang is one of only handful of countries to field nuclear weapons and advanced missiles. The series of tests included a new type of hypersonic missile able to maneuver at high speeds. Also among the tests was the first firing of a Hwasong-12 intermediate range ballistic missile since 2017. It is capable of striking U.S. territories in the Pacific Ocean. The missile is believed to have the range to deliver a nuclear warhead anywhere in the United States. The statement from North Korean Foreign Ministry also cited the Hwasong-15. It said many countries waste time dealing with the United States with submission and blind obedience. But North Korea is the only country that can shake the world by firing a missile with the U.S. mainland in its range. The statement further added there are more than 200 countries in the world, but only a few have hydrogen bombs, intercontinental ballistic missiles and hypersonic missiles. U.S. and South Korea fear the launch of the Hwasong-12 could be a step forward or towards fully resuming ICBM or nuclear weapons tests. North Korea has not conducted a nuclear test or fired an ICBM since 2017. A Washington think tank has said that it has identified a military base close to North Korea's border with China. The base is likely intended for stationing ICBMs. Talks to persuade Pyongyang to give up or limit its arsenal in return for sanctions relief have been stalled since 2019. Shalom Israel, I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in Heaven, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, named Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash. And double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity and peace and blessings to the whole elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom. Yeah, man, you see in the video, you know, North Korea, you know, testing their missiles, the, uh, the tensions that's rising between these nations, like uh, America, Russia, China, and America, and all the rest of these other nations. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, is, is, is preparing these nations for war. And that's what's, that's what's coming, the third war. And we know that America will be destroyed by these nuclear missiles. Because Yahweh Bashem is going to, you know, call together these nations to come up against Babylon the Great, which is America. And let me hit these scriptures. Uh, this is uh, Revelations, Revelation chapter 9, verse, start at verse 15, and it reads, And the fourth angel were loose which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men and the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them now this is talking about the nuclear missiles 200 million missiles will be shot off. These missiles will hit America and destroy this place. Now you gotta, you gotta understand these, these nuclear missiles carry up to, you know, 10 to 15 warheads. And they will hit this place. So John, you know, he saw the vision 
of Babylon, America being destroyed. And that's what's going to happen. And we see the tensions, rise, the tensions rising between these nations. We see a third war coming. And if you can't see that a third war is coming, then you just don't have the spirit of Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shah. But we that's in the truth and sincerity, we see that the scripture that's written in the Holy Bible are coming to pass. The prophecies are coming to pass. Let's go to Isaiah. Chapter 13. We're going to hit verse 1. Then we're going to jump down to verse 5. The burden of Babylon. Which Isaiah saw. So like here, the burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, the son of Amos, did see. The burden of America, right? Start at verse 5, Isaiah 13, verse 5. They came from a far country. From the end of heaven, even the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, and the weapons of of his indignation to destroy the whole land. They came from a far country, meaning the missiles coming from the other side of the world to hit America. The weapons of his indignation are the missiles, the nuclear missiles to destroy the whole land, which is America. They came from a far country, the missiles from the end of heaven, the other side of the world, even the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and the weapons of his ending nation, the thermonuclear missiles, to destroy the whole land, to destroy America. And this is, you know, it's going to happen, man. You know, that's why we pray and hope that we are the elect so we can be beamed up into the chairs to be out of the way of this destruction that's going to come to America. Let's go to Revelations. Chapter 11, verse 14. And we always bring this up. It's prophecy. Revelation chapter 11 verse 14 the second woe is past and behold the third woe cometh quickly war one one is over with world war two is over with but this third war is coming quickly and we see it you know how about smell shot this is putting that evil thought in these nations minds to want to destroy America. You see, his talks about North Korea got missiles that are hit anywhere in America. And this is why they testing their missiles. They not doing it just for show. They not, they, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh had the kings of these nations had these, uh, had these nuclear missiles built to use them. See, these nations are sick and tired of America and his ways. You know, just like we sick and tired of America ways. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is putting that thought in their minds to come up against this place. See these other nations, they not they don't give two fucks about America and they sanctions, man. They don't care about what America say anymore. Because Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is putting the spirit up on them now to rise up against Babylon, the great, which is America. So the third war is going to come 
It's going to happen. If you don't believe it, oh well. Isaiah. Chapter 9. Verse 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this should be with burning and fuel of fire. Now in the ancient wars, you know, it was a lot, you know, it was the battles was fought, the wars was fought with, you know, swords and bow and arrows, you know, spears and shields, you know, people being cut up, body parts chopped off, a lot of screaming, you know, a lot of, you know, men charging at one another, roaring at each other. But this right here, this war, this battle is going to be fought with burning of fuel of fire. Where is that fuel of fire coming from? Where is that burning fuel of fire coming from? The nuclear missiles. The thermonuclear missiles. The ICBM missiles, man. It's going to happen. And once again, we that's in the truth and sincerity. That's why we pray and we hope that we are part of the elect of the nation of Israel to be safely hid in those chambers, to be called up into the chambers, into the chariots. When Yahweh shall return with the holy angels, we want to be beamed up. We pray and hope we. Of that elect number, man. Because that's the only way we're going to be out of the way of this destruction from the nuclear missiles that's being caught up into the chain, uh, into the chariots. Which these people call UFOs. Are you telling me you're going to be going to be uh, beamed up into some UFOs? You know, it sound like, you know, it sound, you know, funny to those that don't believe, man. But they fools for not believing. They fools for not believing on the scriptures. This word is faithful and true. Go to Jeremiah 50. Jeremiah 50. Start at verse 9. And it reads, for lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon, which is America, and the assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves in an array against her, America. From thence, she shall be taken their arrows which are the nuclear missiles should be as of a mighty expert man none should return in vain so you how about some you shot you know it's causing these nations such as russia china iran north korea just to name a few to come up against this wicked place america To, to eventually shoot their arrows, their missiles at this place to destroy this whole land. And these these missiles are not gonna return, they're not gonna miss, they're not gonna go some other way. They gonna hit this place. This is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. It's not gonna miss. He's gonna cause these missiles to hit America, to destroy 
this whole land. Jump down to uh, verse thirteen, because of the because of the wrath of the Lord Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. Yeah, this place after it's destroyed, <laughs> it's not gonna be inhabited by another person again. This place is gonna be for desert-like creatures. It's gonna be inhabited by desert-like creatures, and it tells you that in uh, Isaiah thirteen. Verse 20 and 22. Verse 20, 21, and 22. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goes, everyone that go goeth past. So like everyone that goeth by Babylon, America shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. You know, <laughs> we're gonna be this place get destroyed. People are like, damn, you know, when we when we in rulership, you know, we in the chariots and we, you know, we 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 in the air riding in the chariots. We see this land, we be like, damn, man, <laughs> look at that place. Verse 14, put yourselves array against Babylon, America, round about. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her. Shoot what? Spare no arrows. So it's talking about the missiles. For she hath sinned against the Lord. They tell you in Revelation 18 that her sins have reached unto heaven. America, Babylon the Great. So this place is, you know, it's going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. Okay, let's get, uh, let's get out of And you have to understand that, you know, America got missiles as well. We're not just saying that like, when we bring these scriptures out, we're not just saying that like, these nations just going to shoot their missiles off and America ain't go send none back. They will shoot their missiles off. But they going to, America's going to be overwhelmed by all the missiles that's going to be shot off to hit this place. You know, the Lord is going to cause these missiles from these other nations to hit this place. And this land is not going to, you know, be able to, <laughs> you know, take all those missiles, man. It's, it's not. It's going to be destroyed. And the people that's here going to be destroyed right along with this land. This is why we. That's in the truth and sincerity that's here in America. Pray and hope we get beamed up into the chariots. Because you have to understand, one third of Israel are going to, that's here in America. The one third of the elect that's here in America is going to be beamed up into the chariots. We part we we pray that we are part of that uh one that uh that third that one third of the elect that's here in America. Two thirds gonna be cut off and die here in America. And you got the other uh, multitude of the elect that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth as well. You know, and we pray that 
you know, those sincere brothers and sisters get uh, caught up as well. You know, as well as the 144,000 elect men. Um, okay, this is uh, Isaiah 24, verse 20. And it reads, The earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgressions thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall, and it shall fall and not rise again. And this place America is going to fall. It's going to be destroyed. It's not going to rise again. It's never going to rise again. Esau, Edom, so-called white man will never come back in power again. None of these other nations. America will never rise again. Not going to rebuild it and build back uh, any buildings. You, ain't nobody going to be here to, to do that. <laughs> it's never going to be inhabited again. As the scripture says. So the missiles going to be shot from both sides of them. From one side of the world to the other side. America going to shoot their missiles off as well as these other nations on the other side of the world. But America is going to be completely destroyed. So after all that happened, you, you Edomites you so-called white race, you, you, you're going into captivity. And after you serve your punishment, after you serve out your captivity, you're going to be done away with. You're going to be burnt off the face of the earth. Because the Israelites that you oppress, that you have in captivity, that you enslave, they're going to rule over you. After your uh, kingdom is brought down, after Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, come out of uh, out that power seat. After you be removed out of that power seat, Isaiah. Let's go back to Isaiah real quick. And we about to end it off. Isaiah chapter four, fourteen, verse one, and it reads: For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel. The Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and set them in their own land. And the strangers who are the Israelite foreigners shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Verse 2 And the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the, in the land of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, for servants and handmaids and they should take them captives whose captives they were and they should rule over their oppressors we're going to rule over you Esau Edom the so called white man women and child we're going to rule over you as well as these other nations we're going to rule over their ass too but Esau Edom you are our main enemy, man. We're going to rule over you, man. You're going into captivity. Verse 3, And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage where thou was made to serve. So y'all about me out shots going to give us rest. You know. He's going he's to give us the kingdom. He's going to put us in rulership. Under Yahweh Shah. And King David. Verse 4. That thou should take up this proverb against the king of Babylon. 
and say, How has the oppressor seized the golden city seized? The Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, have broken the staff of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Esau, Edom, the so called white man. And the scepter of the rulers. So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai is breaking your power. He's breaking you down, Esau. He's removing you out that power seat. Verse 6, who? Verse 6, he who smote the people, the Israelites, in wrath with they with they continue to stroke. Yeah, you continue to to to, to oppress it. Salakia. You continue to oppress us, you continue to, you know, kill us. You know, you continue to have that perpetual hatred upon us. He that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted and not hindereth. Verse 7, the whole earth is at rest and is quiet. They break forth singing. Yeah, the fir trees rejoice at the, at the cedar of Lebanon, saying, since thou art laid down, Esau, you're going to be laid down. You're going to be brought down to a lower state. You ain't gonna be in captivity. You ain't gonna have no power. You never will rule again. You will be a slave under the Israelites. No feller has come up against us. You're not gonna be able to destroy the earth. You're not gonna be able to destroy the air, the water, the trees, the flowers, the land. You're not gonna be able to destroy the people. You're not going to be able to destroy the Israelites. You will be laid down, feller. <laughs> Let me see this off from this. Let's jump down here. Verse 12 How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken weaken the nations? Esau, how you cut down, how you brought down by the way, by the power of Yahweh by Shem was shot. Verse 13, for thou hast said in thy heart and thy mind, this was Esau saying in his mind, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars. Of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, which are the Israelites, the stars, is the Israelites, the 12 stars, right? I will sit also upon the mountain. I will, I will, Salaki, I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. And the congregation is the Israelites. Verse 14, I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I would be like the most high. You know, you got Esau got his little satellites and, you know, little space stations and stuff. You know how you, they show you in the movies, the military, when they could, you know, they got cameras up there and they look down, they can zoom in and stuff like that. You know, he want to be like the most high, man. Verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell. To the size of the pit. So you how about some Yahweh is gonna bring you down, Esau. You're gonna be brought down to the size of the pit. You're gonna be literally in the pit. You're gonna be brought down, man. You're gonna be a slave, you're gonna be a captivity. Verse 16: They that see thee should gnarly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man? That made the earth to tremble and did. It's like it, that made the earth to tremble, that did shake kingdoms, that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof, that opened not the house of his prisoners. <laughs> you know, so you did shake kingdoms. You, you, you bullied these nations. You know, you 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 destroyed 
the cities. You be bombing these these, these lands, these people that be in these lands. You steal what they got. You oppress the Israelites. You did all this. And people in and, and the mother nations will be like, is this the man? Because you're always going to be in slavery, man. You're going to be like, man, this this motherfucker right here was, was ruling. This damn cave beast. <laughs> you know? And let's go into some more good stuff. Goes into uh, how you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to, at that thousand years of your captivity, you're going to be done away with you, so. Let's jump right here to uh, verse 20. Thou shalt not be joined with them, the other nations, in burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. The seed of the evildoers should not be renowned. Yeah, after a thousand years of your captivity, you saw, you're going to be done away with. You know, you're going to be rounded up and you're going to be cut off your whole nation. You will never be an Edomite again after your captivity is served. You know, but these other nations, they going to, you know, we're going to show them mercy. They're going to, you know, be able to get some land and they're going to be able to live and enjoy the earth under the, under the rulership of the Israelites. But you, Esau, you're not going to enjoy this earth. You the wicked. It's not going to be no need for no wickedness in our kingdom. You're going to be done away with. Verse 21, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. Yeah, you got to, you know, pay for everything that you have done, man, for the iniquity of your fathers, man. And you, you Edomites that's here today uh, was back then. Here, uh, you was, you was, uh, there back then, man. It's just reincarnation. You, I didn't, I didn't do that to you guys. Yes, you did. You was, you was there. <laughs> that was my, that was my grandfather's. You are your grandfather's reincarnation, dude. They that do prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise nor possesses the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, said the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name, the remnant, and son, and nephew, said the Lord. So if Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah cut all the males off from Edom, the sons and the nephew, which represent the males, if he cut all the males off from Edom, then <laughs> how you expect to procreate and, and continue your lineage you're not going to be able to you'll be done away with man and this is all coming man you know, but, you know, the point was, you know, I went longer than I want to. But the point was, you know, America being destroyed. You know. It's Obadiah chapter 1. It says, verse 1, The vision of Obadiah, thus said the Lord God concerning Edom, the so-called white man. We have heard a rumor. We have heard a rumor from the Lord, Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shah and the ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. I'm going to jump down here to verse 18. And all this is good. I just want to hit the point. Uh, verse 18. And it reads And the house of Jacob should be a fire in the house of Joseph. A flame as represent the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom, and the house of Esau, the Edomites, for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, 
and there shall not be any remaining. Listen up. And there should not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Esau, for the Lord, Yahweh Shah, hath spoken it. So it's not going to be no remainers of you, Esau, after your captivity is served. We're going to round you up, man, and burn you off the face of the earth. All of you. All of you Edomites will be done away with. So that's all I have. You know, I grabbed more than what I wanted to, but you know, it's the spirit, man. You know. The water you how about me? I was shot for the spirit. You know, I'm up early in the morning, four four thirty in the morning. You know, when the spirit get up on you, it get up on you. You know, and be thankful for that spirit of your how about me? I was shot to come up on you. You know, real thankful. So yeah, America will be destroyed, man. And with that being said. I want to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash, Ka Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. See y'all again soon, Yahweh willing. Shalom.